I'm standing in our Cobia wiring harness building area. And what you see behind me is a, a schematic for layout of a wiring diagram for a harness. And we do that for the whole deck, hard top and console for every single Cobia model. What's unique about this is these harnesses are built specifically not only to the boat, to the model, but also to the order. So the day before the boat needs its wiring harness, you guys pull the order, they pull out these diagrams, they build the harness exactly as your boat needs it. It's far different than a generic harness that's ordered in and modified to work for your boat, where wires are added or having to be cut or connectors are having to be cut and the re-put on. Every one of these harnesses drop right into the boat, go exactly to the accessory where they're needed to be. They're routed perfectly. The links are just where they're supposed to be, so you're not having to cut or modify. Every one of the ends has a, a label on it, so you know exactly where that wire is going. It also has the Deutsch connectors on it, so it's plug and play into the accessories. This is absolutely the premier way to build a wiring harness for a boat, and it ensures that your electrical components will be working as perfectly as they possibly can for the life of the vessel. So now we've moved over into an open hull of a, a 301 Cobia. This is the stage right before the deck gets put on the boat. And there, there's still some things to do here. There's some hoses that they still have to put on and that kind of stuff. So don't pay any attention to that because that's going to come when they all go together. But the important thing to note here is, is there are a number of things. We're talking about wiring harness, so I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But since we have an opportunity to look at this open hole, let's talk about some of this stuff. First off, whether it's a wiring harness, a hose, any of that kind of stuff, notice that it has a everything has a de designated location. It's tied up. It's routed just so. Everything is pre-designed up front, pre-engineered up front. There's nothing arbitrary about how anything lays in here. And it's laid in basically to maximize the function of every accessory it, it deals with. Same thing with the wiring harnesses. You can see how the wiring harnesses are strung back here from the bilge area all the way forward. They're tied up, okay? You have wiring harnesses in here for various components. You also have your, your battery cables in here that go back to the engines, all that kind of stuff. But everything is tied up. It's up out of the bilge. I can tell exactly what wire goes to what in here just simply by looking at all the labels. For instance, I'm looking right now at a port live well light wire right here. Across from me, I'm looking at the engine port battery wire right here. I'm looking at the, the wires right here that go to, let's see here, so I that go to the, the aft bilge hatch, okay? And all these, notice they have the Deutsch connectors so that they can be plugged right into that accessory. If that accessory has any problem down the line, all you got to do is just pull that accessory out, get a Deutsch connector on it, and pop it right in. These are watertight, so you're not going to have any saltwater intrusion, and they keep that electrical current absolutely perfect transferring from the, the harness into the accessory itself. Another thing to note is there are no brakes in this harness as we move forward. Everything is one straight shot. That's a great thing. Obviously, you don't want any brakes in there. Those are areas where you can have saltwater intrusion also breaking that electrical current. Also, they're designed to be exactly the right length, so there's no unnecessary amperage drops and that's your electrical components perform to their optimum and uh, as long as they're made to perform. We will move up forward and I'll take a look at the, the forward area and see how we tie all this together next. So now we've moved forward here in front of the fuel tank and we're looking at the opposite end of the harness. We looked at the back end of the harness where all the accessories are and it, if you're looking at like the bilge pumps, the, the uh, live wall pumps, the macerators, that kind of thing. So now we're looking at the front side where eventually they're gonna get tied up into the console. And they're all coiled up here right now, just like this to make it easy for the installers once the deck goes on and the console goes on to tie all that stuff up. But these are all, as we talked about on the board over there, is they're all measured to length. So when they, these coils are undone, they're just taped here. When they're undone, they're gonna slide right up. They're gonna be the exact measurement. They're gonna plug right into the Deutsch connectors that are on the back side of the panel, okay? They're gonna do it so that there's no extra sags or anything like that. Everything, once again, is, is labeled so you know exactly what that connector goes to. This is a port live well light here, forward float switch. All that's tied into this Deutsch connector. Once again, these Deutsch connectors just plug in like that and they're completely waterproof and, and sealed. You can see 
The, the terminal block is gonna get tied up into the console like this. Once again, everything is labeled on this as well. These terminal block rings, when they put them on, they put dielectric grease on there so it prevents any kind of corrosion. You have everything on here. You have like the fuel tank, bonding wire. We have bonding wires throughout any of the, the metal. Um, that prevents stray, elect currents, stray electrical currents and grounds the boat. But you can see just how everything's caught up, labeled exactly as it's supposed to be. You have the wires going forward for the windlass. Also, this boat has the electric table. Those wires go forward for the uh, electric table as well. And so these wire runs are exactly perfect to, perfect to link, designed for this very boat, designed to maximize the, the life of all those electrical components and for those components to perform absolutely at their optimum.